Hello my fellow readers. In this video I'm going to talk about a graphic novel series and that is Pandora Hearts by June Mochizuki. Um, <laughs> Pandora Hearts, it's quite long, um, is a 24 volume series and the 24th volume really is more like one and a half volumes. <laughs> it's pretty big. So the manga series, I would sort of classify it as dark fantasy um, because definitely toward the middle and end it's definitely darker than like when it first starts you're kind of like oh it's some kind of fantasy but I don't know what level of fantasy it is um, but then by the end it's like oh this is pretty dark so I I would consider it personally dark fantasy um, it and the, the series follows Oz Vesalius who <laughs> he's like he's like a nobleman he's a he's a little lord um, when it opens, he is preparing for, I think it's his coming of age ceremony, um, and where he'll be more like fully recognized in society. And he has his best friend who is also his valet or valet, depending on how you say it, you can say it either the British way, which is valet or the more French way, which is valet. Um, his servant essentially <laughs> his man in waiting. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Gilbert or Gil. And he really wants Gil to join him that day for the coming of age ceremony and partake with him. Um, and besides that, he's got a sister. And also Oz is mostly um, watched over by his uncle. So his uncle's really his main caretaker. So you think, okay, everything's fine. But then things get kind of twisted and weird where um, Oz's dad kind of has labeled Oz as a child of ill omen and um, at the coming of age ceremony Oz ends up getting thrown into cast into the abyss and it really sets up this weird world where uh, I'm just gonna say it flat out if you only read the first five volumes of this series you you may feel like you should just give it up and that you don't want to read on. That it's confusing, that a lot of characters get thrown at you, that the idea doesn't really make sense, and you may just give up on it. I would highly encourage you to not give up on it. <laughs> I would say, no, please keep reading, um, because the story does start to make sense and also get really good <laughs> if you hang in there. And I'll, I'll just say that because even for myself, um, reading it the first time, I remember getting through like the, the first five volumes and this is after watching the anime series, which I really liked. And so I was like, okay, I want to see beyond where the anime went. Um, but even then, like I got through the first five volumes of the manga and I was like, oh, I just don't have time for this. And I, I put it aside for years, literal years. Um, and then only recently decided, no, I'm, this is going to be the moment where I do it. I borrowed the whole series because this is um, sadly mostly out of print nowadays um, and I, I am sad about this so I borrowed this from the library where we have all the volumes but um, yeah I had to because it's, it is very hard to find some of the volumes you can still get I don't really understand what's happening there if they just had an overabundance of those published but others are completely gone um, and yeah, and you can't even get that the nice box set. And I'm a little bit sad about that because having finished Pandora Hearts, I really wish that I could own this series. Um, but it's pretty much impossible to find. I would love to buy the box set of it, but people who realize that they're never going to read this series, or maybe they tried to read it and they don't like it, are reselling it for uh, an obscene amount of money that I'm never going to pay for this series. As much as I like it, I am not going to spend almost $400 on a box set for Pandora Hearts. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not going to. Um, and I think that you really need to be very passionate about this series if you are going to spend that kind of money. Don't spend it on it just because the box is pretty, please. Like, actually like the series. Um, and I liked it, and I still wouldn't pay that kind of money for it. If anybody wants to sell it for a reasonable amount, um, you can leave me a comment. You're like, yeah, I'm trying to get rid of mine. Um, I would pay a reasonable amount for it. Um, and that would, would be more like 
not not as much as what they're selling not four hundred dollars if you're trying to get close to four hundred dollars even 350 is too much for me um it's just not worth that especially when you could buy this for like ten dollars of volume um like i'm sorry um the suggested retail price was thirteen dollars of volume at least this this volume was i should have had the other volumes in here but it, they never charged that like when i when i picked this up on amazon for the library's collection, it was not that much money. And Right Stuff, um, for sure, charged less than that. And that's why I would go with like $10 a volume. Um, even though it's out of print, that doesn't really make the value go up. Sorry to say that, but with a series like this, it doesn't really make the value go up just because it's out of localized printing. Um, <clears throat> again, as much as I like it, that's my stand on it. It's not worth the value um, that people are trying to sell it for maybe at most like 250 maybe 300 maybe um but not above 300 dollars. it's not worth it <laughs> please don't spend that amount even if you really want to read it look to see if your local library has it before you go and spend that amount of money on it because one you should be sure that you actually like the series um enough to have it because if you go and spend that amount of money on it and then you don't even like the series what are you going to do with it? Um, again, that's why my collection is very curated. I don't... I'm not going to spend a ridiculous amount of money. Um, it has to be something I'm very passionate about and that I like it. And as much as I like this, I'm not willing to spend that much money on it. Um, just no. I would wait to either see if it ever gets republished. Maybe... Um, I'm trying to think of what happened. Because this was originally by Yen Press. And I don't know, are they, are they, do they still own the rights to it? I don't know. But I would rather wait to see if it was published in any other way and then spend that kind of money. <clears throat> Again, that's just my take. If you have lots of money to waste or you just want to be like, yeah, I have this box. I have that box set. Isn't it fancy? Go ahead and spend it. Um, for me, not worth it. <laughs> not worth it as pretty as I think it looks it's not worth it I hate to say that you're not worth it Pandora Hearts um it is worth a read I very much enjoyed it and I very much say it's worth a read but if you could borrow it from a friend or a library um read it that way first and then if you became so passionately involved with it that you had to have it consider spending the money um where I stand right now I'm not that passionate about it. I loved the series, would love to own it, but I'm not going to spend that amount of money. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I can even say about the series itself, though, without getting spoilery. Um, I would just say, like, essentially, after Oz is thrown into the abyss, he makes a contract with a young girl, Alice, who claims to have the powers of, of the bee rabbit um, and that she can help get him out of the abyss they do come out of the abyss when they come out of the abyss um, there's been a time leap um, where it's now um, 10 years later um, oz is still in his form from before because when he was in the abyss it was only like a couple minutes to him maybe a few hours um, but the outside world has lost 10 years um, so when he comes out he's very very worried about his family and what happened after the whole incident when he got thrown into the abyss. Um, his uncle's fine, his sister's fine, um, and Gil is also fine. He, I don't want to give too much of that away, but anyway, Gil is also fine, and he does get to see everybody again. Um, he ends up working for a group called Pandora that are trying to do something <laughs> they go against another group known as the baskervilles they believe the baskervilles are trying to cause bad things to happen with the abyss whereas they're trying to stop it so anyway he gets involved in that group but really the story is different from all that um and you have to read in order to see it and again i think the big changes where things start making more sense comes by like the maybe around the 10th volume maybe not till a little bit after things definitely pick up speed by volume 15 on but 
things start to change over, I think, from about volume 10. I read them so quickly together that I don't have the precise volumes in mind, but it picks up. And then by this end, this is the, the final volume, and by this end, things are definitely revealed. You're more concerned about how can anything end happily. <laughs> And that's what you're left to deal with with this one. Um, but it does have a bittersweet, beautiful ending. And I still would highly recommend it. I'm trying to think. Oh, yes, I did. Um, I also finished Jun Mochizuki's uh, Crimson Shell, which I believe was the first work. And uh, another dark fantasy. Wow, this one super dark <laughs> but I liked it and I would say if you like um Pandora Hearts then you should pick up Crimson Shell now why Crimson Shell is still readily in print and Pandora Hearts is not I have no idea um if someone does know and they want to explain that to me please do um because <laughs> I don't I don't get that um and the current June Mo Mochizuki um series is a uh, case study of Vanitas, um, and that one is is in print, and there's new volumes being released. But it is some of the volumes are harder to get. I think they're all still in print, and it could just be the with the publishing issue right now, where things can't all get published, that they're harder to find. But that one is still currently in print. It's being released. Um, but yeah. Also, I don't know if you can get this uh, digitally, so it could be that the print version is out, but you could get it digitally. Um, so if you cannot find it at a library or borrow it from your friend, um, and you don't want to spend like $400 to buy it off of somebody else who realized that they don't like the <laughs> series <laughs> and want to get rid of their box set. <laughs> it's, oh gee, I spent this much money on it. Now I'll, you know rake somebody else in and make them spend too much money. Um, you may be able to get the digital edition, um, which would probably end up cheaper. But again, I don't know for sure. We're just reading this and I'm like, I did not, did I not realize that Yen Press was owned by Hachette? I probably didn't realize it, but that's, that's okay. <laughs> so I would say Yes, if you can find Pandora Hearts, read it. If you own it and it's just sitting there on your shelf because you bought the box set because you thought it was attractive, read the dang thing. Stop letting it sit there. If you decide that you don't like it after reading it, um, if you want to sell it for a decent price, you can hit me up. <laughs> if you want to try to uh, get somebody else to overpay for it and they also haven't read it but they just think that box set is looks nice <laughs> you can try that <laughs> i don't care what you decide to do but i would say if it is just sitting there collecting dust on your shelf and you haven't tried to read it yet um please pick it up and try to read it um don't give up after volume five keep going don't give up after volume 10 keep going um read it through to the end because wow there are some serious twists and turns in it big revelations um Lots of battles, lots of darkness, lots of fun. I thought it was, I thought it was fun. I, I liked the complexity and the craziness of the world. The one thing I wish that they had done is to have those little character guides that other series do. You know when you open it up and it tells you who each character was? Because sometimes I would get confused about what, who was who, um, especially in the early volumes. By the end, there's like a core group that if you can get to know their names, you'll be good. Um, but, um, yeah, I so wish they had had one of those character guides. Like, this is Oz. This is Gil. This is, like, you know what I mean? I just wish I had one of those. It does not. So, if you do take a break between reading, you're especially going to get confused. Um, luckily, I just kept powering through and got who most of the characters were. Um... But yeah, I, I so wish they'd had one of those sheets in here. That was the one thing I noticed that it drove me crazy. 
But anyway, Pandora Hearts, if you can find it, give it a read. I actually really liked it. Um, and do still wish that I could get it. Maybe one day, either somebody will be getting rid of it at a decent price, or even better, they would put it back into print, um, and I could pick up a real release of it. That's it for this video. Until next time, bye.